Hey folks, welcome back to the Yuan Pizzazz channel. Who saw the latest remake of Dune? I thought it was exceptional and it inspired me to create this blue eye effect. It's actually not too difficult, so don't be scared. Let's just dive right into it. So I have this clip of this woman in the desert and we're gonna change her eyes from brown to blue. Let's start off by right clicking in the timeline, clicking new and solid. We actually want this color to be a specific code. Make sure to copy this exact code and press OK. You can always experiment with the colors later, but I found that this color has worked for me. Press OK. We are going to right click the solid, select blending mode, overlay. Let's zoom in on this timeline and then set the resolution to full. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a mask. Make sure that the blue solid is selected and click the pen tool up here. Now we wanna trace a mask around this eye. So just make a point here by clicking and then make another point, hold down and drag. Click another point, hold down and drag. And just do this until you have the whole eye selected. And you can always adjust these points here. So this is cool for now. Now we're gonna just open up this layer here. Open up masks, mask one. And we wanna change some of these settings here. We wanna change the feather to eight. And then you might need to adjust this mask accordingly. This will help blend it in a little better. Okay, now we're gonna start keyframing this eye. So start off by marking a keyframe from mask path. Just a quick tip on how to move over by a couple of keyframes. Hold down command and click the right arrow to move over. You can use the arrows to move back and forth as long as you're holding down command. For PC users, that is control that you're holding down. So move over two keyframes. Make sure the mask path is selected and we're going to move this over. Move over a couple frames. Click the mask, move it over. So just keep doing this. You can see she's going down this way, so we wanna move along with her. If we click H on our keyboard, we activate the hand tool. And we're just gonna move over a bit. And then if you wanna go back to the selection tool, hit V. So yeah, we're gonna just keep moving over. You can see that the keyframes need to be slightly adjusted here, so that's okay. Click Mask Feather and just adjust these points here. So we're still on the same track. Just do this if you find that it needs some tweaking. Okay, so now we're getting to the point where she is blinking and people blink pretty regularly. So I imagine you're gonna get to that point too. So now we're gonna have to go keyframe by keyframe. So let's move over one keyframe. We're gonna hit mask feather and we're gonna just slowly just bring this in as she's blinking. Move over one keyframe, mask feather, bring this down. Move over again, bring this down. Okay, so she's starting to open her eyes again. So we're gonna start opening it up. All right, so I've done all the tracking. We're gonna go back to fit. We're gonna see how this looks. Nice, okay. We're gonna add a nice little detail now. So we're actually gonna duplicate this layer. Select the layer, hit Command C and Command V to copy and paste. And for PC users, that's Control C, Control V. And we are going to make some adjustments to this second layer. We're gonna right click it, 
select blending mode and we're going to change it to lighten. And then we're going to go into these mask settings. Make some adjustments here. So we want to change the mask expansion to negative three. And these mask settings that I have here will be different depending on the shape of the eye, how big it is. So just keep that in mind. This works for this particular video, but you might need to do some meddling around to get it just right. And last final thing for this second blue layer, we're going to hit T on our keyboard and we're gonna change the opacity to 50. And that's pretty much it for that one eye. You're gonna to have to repeat it on the second eye here. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the Uwampazaz channel for more videos. Have a fantastic day, folks.